and a pleasant good Friday morning. It's the 25th day of February, 2022. Oh yes, we've had some chilly overnight lows the past couple nights. It's been in the upper 30s. Some places were setting records, but it was brisk and only in the around 60 yesterday. It was 56 on Wednesday. Today it's gonna be 65. And uh, yes, the Lakers and Clippers are back in action tonight. And yes, the second half is gonna be pretty critical for the Lakers and the Clippers it looks like, but the Warriors just pounded the Blazers last night, 132 to 95. They're not really the Blazers anymore. Damian Lillard's been missing out. Also, uh, the Phoenix Suns won their first game without Chris Paul. And uh, the Boston Celtics keep winning as well as they beat New Jersey, or Brooklyn, rather, last night in blowout fashion. And... Uh, well, the Chicago Bulls have a half game lead over the Miami Heat as the one seed, but then you got the Sixers in the three seed, the Bucks in the four seed. The fifth seed, you have um, Toronto, and then you have uh, the sixth seed at Celtics. Then you got the Nets in there as well. They're in the playing position, and so are the Hawks and the Hornets. Yeah, the Sixers and out west, it's been the same. It's been Phoenix, Golden State, Memphis, Utah, Dallas, and Denver. Yeah, the Timberwolves are the seventh seed. The Clippers are the eighth seed at the moment. So, and then of course we're nine. But well, a happy birthday going out to Paul O'Neill the former Yankees outfielder, and to Bob Brenly, the former Diamondbacks manager, and he was also an analyst on Fox Sports. Also, a happy birthday to Kurt Rambis of the Lakers. Yeah, Kurt Rambis. He was part of Showtime as well. And, of course, a happy birthday to the late George Harrison, who would have turned 79 today. Yeah. Well, all in all, we were supposed to have spring training games this weekend, but now we have to wait and see if we can get an agreement done by the 28th. Otherwise, we're going to have games canceled during the regular season, and players are going to lose money now. It's the owners that are being too greedy. Yeah, this lockout has been a nightmare, and I hope it does not a repeat as 1994. And yes, with the All-Star Game here in Los Angeles again, it was canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic in 2020 because that's when cases were still really high and we didn't have a vaccine. Basically, we, we still had to, to, to stay home. But now with this lockout going on, we might not have an All-Star Game if the season starts after 4th of July. I mean, if we start Memorial Day weekend, I think we'll still have the All-Star game, but I don't know if it's going to be packed to capacity. Plus, All-Star tickets are really expensive. Well, back in 1980, the All-Star game was pretty cheap back then. Yeah, it was much cheaper. And back then, you, you just had to, like, use a landline phone to call for tickets and pick them up. Yeah, things were much more sim simple back then. Well, uh, it's good that the Lakers are back, but they have to start winning. They have to win big now. I mean, they're going to have to do it without Anthony Davis. Phoenix got it done without Chris Paul, but that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, Devin Booker can't do it on his own. LeBron can't do it on his own. That's why things were better when Jerry Buss was the owner. And we all love Dr. Buss. But ever since he passed, his kids took over the ownership. And the front office was a lot better. Back in the days when Jerry West was there and when Mitch Kupchak was there and when Phil Jackson was coaching, Pat Riley. The 90s were a lean decade. Well, have a good rest of your Friday. I'll catch you later. Peace.